Now on BBC One at one o'clock, the news with Lauren Taylor. Today at one, a powerful earthquake strikes Japan, damaging buildings and causing tsunami waves. Thousands are left without electricity as buildings shook, some collapsing, with residents told to flee to higher ground. Good afternoon. A powerful earthquake has struck central Japan, causing tsunami waves, fires and damage to buildings. People were told to flee to higher ground along hundreds of kilometres of coastline, with warnings of waves as high as five metres, though the threat has now been downgraded. The epicentre of the 7.6 magnitude quake was in the Noto area in the Ishikawa prefecture, and the effects were felt up to 200 kilometres away in the capital, Tokyo. Helena Wilkinson reports. This footage from inside someone's home captures the moment the powerful earthquake struck. It was also caught on camera in this supermarket. There was chaos and confusion. And this is the coastline in Ishikawa prefecture in the central region of the country. Tsunami warnings have been issued and people have been told to head to higher ground. I would like to ask all residents to continue to pay close attention to the occurrence of this strong earthquake. If you are in a region where a tsunami is expected, please evacuate as soon as possible. The 7.6 magnitude earthquake struck just after four in the afternoon local time. The red X on this map marks the earthquake's epicentre near Suzu City in the Ishikawa prefecture. There had been a major tsunami warning along part of the coastline. It's now been downgraded, marked in red on the map. <laughs> this earthquake has brought back memories for Japan of the 2011 Boxing Day earthquake, which had a magnitude of nine and triggered a tsunami, leading to a nuclear meltdown at the Fukushima power plant. Officials say this time all nuclear facilities are currently unaffected. Following the earthquake, a huge fire broke out in one of the affected areas. There are fresh warnings of further earthquakes across Japan on this New Year's Day. Helena Wilkinson, BBC News. Our Asia correspondent Rupert Wingfield Hayes is in Taipei. And there has been a slight downgrade on the, the tsunami warning at least. Yeah, I think that's the good news uh, that we've heard in the last hour or two is that that fear of a five metre tsunami hitting the coast there has now been downgraded. Uh, and, and as Helena said in her package there, I mean, this really brought back memories of 2011 for people in Japan. There will have been real fears that there could have been a repeat of what happened then when you know, massive destruction was done to the northeast coast of Japan and thousands of people were killed. There will be relief that that threat has now gone away, although tsunami warnings remain in effect for the Korean Peninsula and the Far East Coast uh, of Russia. But despite the fact that it's now been downgraded, this is still a very, very major earthquake and it's done a lot of structural damage. I've seen pictures of a major highway along uh, the Sea of Japan coast has been completely ripped up. Many houses have collapsed. There are people still stuck in their collapsed houses and there are reports of many injuries being brought into hospitals in Ishikawa prefecture. And it is now night in Japan. People will be spending a night in the cold. It's below freezing there on that coast at this time of year. And I think really it's not until tomorrow, until uh, the sun rises tomorrow, uh, a daybreak happens that we will see the full extent uh, of the damage in that area. And I think it will be very extensive indeed. Rupert, thank you very much indeed. The Defence Secretary Grant Shapps has said British forces are ready to act against Houthi rebels who've been targeting cargo ships in the Red Sea.